Viewer discretion is advised. Just face it, you're not gonna get any work done. Why does Paul have to be so goddamn accepting? Rufus didn't help us the first time. And he's not gonna help us this time either. Interesting, I thought you were here studying. Interesting, I thought you guys usually brought an entire mob to terrorize people. Listen to me you little shit. Janet. You're both here looking for me. That much is obvious. So what do you want? We're actually offering you something you want. And that is? A chance to redeem yourself. Accept it, and we'll drop our case against your family. What makes you think I want to join your cult? Not saying you have to join us. We're just asking you to do one thing. What is it? You have to speak at our upcoming rally. You're taking a big risk, giving me a platform. Try anything and you're finished. And I mean it. This was your idea, Eliezer? Yeah. But it's not like you're in a position to say no. If you do this, you'll be vindicated in front of our supporters, and your family won't have to pay for a lawyer. All we're asking for is two minutes of your time. Why are you doing this? What's the catch? Take it or leave it. I'll think about it. Let me give you my number. You'll both want to add me to your contacts. So, did that little twerp agree to it? He doesn't have a choice. I can only hope you're right. Bullies are unpredictable. Pulling out doesn't look good for us. Our mission is to bring about justice, not to backpedal. Janet, maybe you should have waited out here with Brutus while I spoke with Dominic alone. You showing up in there with me might have spooked him a bit. Good. I want them to be afraid. Kid, this plan of yours is great and all. But someone's gotten into your head. I know who it is. And trust me, that Paul Sanchez kid is bad news. That's exactly right. He and his mother just want to control PAB. I don't care about Paul. I don't even know what to think or feel about the bullies anymore. But I do know that we can't afford people like Rufus humiliating us again. What do you mean? Everything is fine. What is it, Eliezer? The student council has been receiving complaints. Some students are starting to feel like We've gone too far. What? Why didn't you tell us this sooner? I knew it. Those bullies are spreading lies. We have to stop them. Well, it was really just like, one complaint from this kid named Quincy, and another from a guy on the track team, who says he got stopped in the hall, simply because they thought he looked like a bully. All I'm saying is, if we're not careful, we could be getting a lot more complaints soon. So you're saying we need to get soft? Not happening. PAB has no tolerance for bullying. No, I'm not saying we need to get soft, I'm saying we need to get smart. And we also need to give Uncle Adam more time. This rally has to be the best it can possibly be. I suggest we move it right in front of the school. In front of the school, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. Why didn't we think of that sooner? And I still get to be security, right? Of course. That hasn't changed. Perfect. I'll have Rachel announce the change of plans. In the meantime, I think it's best that we search for Rufus. 
Since he's apparently alive, finding him is a priority. About that. It's been brought to my attention that Rufus was the John Doe that was brought into the hospital last week with the stab wound. And two of his former associates, who go by the names of Dwayne and Randy, were spotted heading there an hour ago. Then that's where we're going. Full steam ahead. So even with the way things are at school right now, you still want to do this? I mean, it doesn't help that I've stepped down from the student council either. Well, since PAB moved my rally, we don't have a choice. And if we want people on our side, then the school is the best place for our own rally. It's where our only real supporters are. Even so, we don't have that many supporters left. Doing this is a huge risk. If it calms people down, then it's worth it. So what do you think, Tommy? Tommy? What do you think? All right. I am. Um, well, I can get the newspaper on it like before, I guess. Well, we can't do any promotion around it. We need the element of surprise if this is gonna work at all. You know how PAB would respond to anyone announcing a counter-protest. Yeah. They tried to sabotage it. What about Rufus? Do you think he might be recovered enough to help us by then? Who knows? But if we're gonna pull this off, then we need everyone's help. Including Dwayne and Randy. Getting those two and P.A.B. together might not be the best idea. Maybe not. But even if just a few students manage to reconcile with them, then it's worth it. We can show people there's a better way. If we get it on social media, then we might have a chance. What did Dominic say about Brianna helping us with that? He actually hasn't responded to me in a while. I hope he's doing okay. Normally he leaves the library around this time. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll come around. There's still plenty of time to plan this. Even if it is, sort of a half-baked idea. Yeah, that's true. Hey Tommy, you've been pretty quiet. Is everything okay? No, I'm fine. Just listening. Nothing I'm thinking about right now is more important than this. Believe me, I want to be there. I appreciate that. It's really great to know that I have your support. Yeah. Always. So we're the first ones you've spoken to. Please. You two aren't that important. I spoke with Paul's grandmother first. So you and him are buddy-buddy now or something? He has some of my respect. Never thought you'd actually say that. Or that you'd even talk to us again. You saw an opportunity, and you took it. Just like I taught you. And just like I taught Harrison. That's how the world works. Then you really not pissed off at us? For the last time? No, I'm not. Then why do you say fuck you to us, when you woke up? To show you I was alive. Hey, uh, you remember that time when we... Well, that was easier than I thought. It's quite easy, when the hospital's receptionist is in PAB. You thought you could hide here? Did you think you were safe? Hey Rufus, say cheese, asshole. You do know how many misdemeanors you're committing, right? Oh, we don't plan on posting that picture anytime soon. Remember your friend Harrison? He waited for the right moment to do something like that, and we've learned from him. I'm not scared anymore. You tell him, Elisa. Good for you. Nobody cares. Now tell me, what did you hope to achieve by coming here? We came here to warn you. No funny business with Paul Sanchez. Please allow me. The receptionist told us everything she knows. PAB doesn't want any more drama. And you went to all the trouble of disturbing hospital patients, just to tell us that? 
Rufus, I don't know if you knew this or not. But I used to look up to you back in junior high. I used to watch you settling disputes and other conflicts between the kids. You just had a way of making it look so effortless. It's what inspired me to join the debate team. I even remember when you came up to me on my first day of school and asked me for a moment of my time, just like you did the other kids. I wanted to be like you. You seem to have everything figured out all before the age of 15. Actually, I lied. I didn't get into debate until high school. But in junior high, I didn't have the confidence that you did. And when I finally thought I did, Harrison and these two bastards destroyed it. If I wanted to hear your life story, I would have asked. All right, listen. It's all right, Janet. I used to think you were cool, Rufus. But really, I've learned all of your tricks. And this whole stone cold act? Yeah, it doesn't fool me. The reality is, you've lost everything important in your life. That stupid gang of yours was your only chance of having a future. Face it, man, you've been rotting away ever since you dropped out of school, and you know it. See, it's the truth. Stop hiding from us. We came here for your own good. Brutus already said it, but I'm gonna say it again. If you and Paul try anything funny at our rally, it's not gonna end well for you. So do we really think Paul will try something? He might, or he might not. But knowing Paul's track record, it's safe to assume he'll do something eventually. And if I were him, I would seek out the help of a well-respected former student. And also if I were Paul, I would know to strike when the iron is hot. At a PAB rally in front of the school. Wait a minute. So when you suggested we move the rally to the front of the school, you're going to bait them into a trap. A laser that's brilliant. Yeah, and I don't think these three are gonna wanna be a part of it. But Dwayne, if you happen to be in the neighborhood, don't forget to bring a barf bag, just in case you start to feel a little queasy again. Come on, we're done here. Damn. He's pretty good. Nah. He overextended himself. I only let him think that he had the upper hand. So you think I should do it then? It's the best thing for us as a family, Dominic. Think about Lola. Alright. I'll let him know. Eliezer. I accept your deal. I'll be at the rally. <laughs>